Well, it's costing a lot for just about everything right now, from fuel to food, even rent. A lot of people are feeling the pinch because of inflation. And right now, inflation is at a nearly four decade high. Research says experts say inflation will likely remain high well into 2023. One group really feeling the pressure, farmers. But the president is hoping to make things a little easier. WTVA's Ethan Foster joins us live in the studio to explain. That's right. Agriculture is one of Mississippi's strongest industries, but inflation is hitting farmers hard just like the rest of us. The president was in Illinois today talking to farmers about his new plans to make food more affordable. Farmers are we're, we're scratching heads trying to come up with other ways that we can grow crop. President Biden headed to America's heartland Wednesday to talk about the rising food prices across the country. He's blaming those higher costs and a global food shortage on Putin and the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Right now, America is fighting on two fronts at home. It's inflation and rising prices. Abroad, it's helping Ukrainians defend their democracy. The invasion cut off a key source of wheat, corn, barley, oil seeds, and cooking oil. But a local business owner pointed out another item a lot of us might not think about that's hitting farmers where it hurts, fertilizer. If we refer to the livestock, uh, sort of where I'm at, you know, fertilizing the hay, you're not gonna get as much hay, so you're gonna have either lower quality hay that is produced or you're just not going to have near as much hay. So yeah, fertilizer being reduced is a, is a big, big impact. To combat those costs, Biden announced three steps his administration is taking to make it easier on farmers. First, nearly 700 new counties will be eligible for double cropping insurance. That means farmers in those counties will be able to plant more than one crop on the same plot of land with more financial security. Second, the administration is working on making it easier and faster for farmers to apply for precision agriculture technology that will help them save fertilizer and maximize their efficiency. Finally, Biden is doubling funds for domestic fertilizer production to $500 million. This will lower costs and boost availability for farmers. Now, the president made it clear that the people responsible for harvesting and working fields like this one you see behind me are still key players when it comes to feeding the people of America as well as those across the globe. The real reason I'm here is to thank American farmers. Thank farmers. You feed America. You get us through, you got us through a pandemic. And you're literally the backbone of our country. It's not hyperbole. But you also feed the world. And we're seeing with Putin's war in Ukraine, you're like the backbone of freedom. Man, the farmers are the ones we get out here seven days a week and we don't get holidays. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, a lot of people think that just these things show up on the shelves at Kroger and that's not how it happens. I mean, it took some farmer by the sweat of his brow to put that food on that, on that shelf at the store. So, uh, yeah, farmers are the backbone of this country. That's what's kept us going. Now, speaking to electrical union workers earlier this evening, the president delivered a lengthy defense of his American Rescue Plan, which Republicans and some economists say just made inflation worse. The president argued that it helped millions of Americans put food on the table, but his critics say it caused too many dollars to chase too few goods. Alyssa, back to you.